Hello everyone, this is Vikas Kumar. Welcome to Marine Tuta Marine Engineering Lectures. Today we are going to discuss about the sewage treatment plant on board ships, some rules and regulations as per Marpol NX4 Chapter 3 Regulations 11 that is discharge of sewage. So, ये जो हमारी सीवेज चुटन पार्ट है ये मैंने दो लेक्चर्स में प्रोवाइड की है फर्स्ट लेक्चर जो हमारे पढ़ेंगे आज हम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस एंड सेकंड लेक्चर जो हमारी रहेगी प्रॉपर प्लांट्स पढ़ेंगे वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल पढ़ेंगे कंस्ट्रक्शन पढ़ेंगे तो आज हम बात करेंगे व्हाट आर द सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस एज पर मार्कोल इन एक्सपोर चैप्टर 3 एंड रेगुलेशन 11 दैट इज डिस्चार्ज ऑफ सीवेज सो as per Marpol NX4, that is regulations for the prevention of pollution and sewage from ships, that is chapter 3 is all about the equipment and control of discharge and under chapter 3 there is your regulations and that regulation is discharge of sewage and that regulation is regulation 11. So what regulation 11 tells about the regulations for the prevention of pollution and sewage from ships? Let's discuss. First of all, subjects to the provision of regulation 3 of this NX, the discharge of sewage into the sea is prohibited except when. First of all, the ship is discharging commutant and disinfectant. So, what is the meaning here? Commutant and disinfectant means chemically treated. Okay, means chemically treated. So, the ship is discharging commutant and disinfected sewage using a system approved by the administration in accordance with regulations of this NX. So whatever the discharge, whatever the sewage which may be discharged into the sea at a distance of more than 3 nautical miles from the nearest land or sewage which is not commuted or disinfected at a distance of more than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land. So what this regulation tell you about that? Means whatever the sewage, suppose there is sewage and sewage is disinfected and commuted, means it's treated with chemically treated, should be discharged more than 3 nautical miles and or in different language I can say that that disinfected and commuted sewage should be discharged 3 nautical miles to 12 nautical miles and the sewage which is not disinfected and commuted should be discharged more than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land. So that's the simple regulations. Okay. Now, second regulation is all about whatever the sewage, whatever the sewage generated on board ships that has been stored in holding tanks. Okay, holding tanks where sewage is stored. So not be discharged instantaneously. Means the discharge rate of sewage is not in this instantaneous. It is moderate rate. Okay. So when the ship is in route and proceeding at not less than four knots. So that is the condition means the ship should be an in route and proceeding at not less than four knots. The rate of discharging also the rate of discharging also should be approved by the administration based upon standard developed by the organization. So this is about the rules and regulations. Now third one is whatever the operation means the ship has in operation there is should be an approved sewage treatment plant which has been certified by the administration to meet the operational requirement okay means whatever the sewage treatment plant is set up on board ship should be approved sewage treatment plant okay which has been certified by the some administration some classes okay so that should be approved sewage treatment plant now fourth regulation is the test result of the plant are laid down in the ship's international sewage pollution prevention certificate so there is a certificate whatever the test which whatever the test okay results of the plants okay so there is a one certificate that is called ISPPC and ISPPC stands for international sewage pollution prevention certificate basically uh, in some interviews interview directly asks you some certificates under MARPOL. So this is one of the important certificate apart from IOPP and AAPP. Okay, so one, there is one important certificate comes under NX4 that is International Sewage Pollution Prevention Certificate. And next regulation is whatever the effluent so not produce visible floating solids nor cause discoloration of the surrounding water. Whatever the sewage which you discharge 
into the sea it should not discolor the sea water okay or it is not uh, like a visible floating solids okay so this is all about the rules and regulation and next chapter we are going to discuss about the what is sewage treatment plant construction and working principle all these things so i hope you like this video if you like this video please like and subscribe this video and thank you for watching this video